Hi my lovies, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another edition of Do or Don't. I'm gonna be putting two palettes to the test today and I have them right here. And the first one is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And the other one is the Makeup Revolution, the Ultra Eye Contour and Light and Shade Palette. So that's what they look like. Obviously, this is the more expensive one. I absolutely adore this palette, but I need to pull it out more. I often forget about this palette. And every time I look at it, I'm like, why don't I use you more in tutorials? It's stunning. Then obviously, Makeup Revolution came out with their kind of twist on the Kat Von D palette. If I can open this, wow, jeepers. It looks like that on the inside. So the first kind of, I suppose, note I want to talk about is obviously the fact that the shadows in the Kat Von D are much bigger. They're a big pan size in comparison to this. I mean, you can just see them there side by side. This palette is on the go, I'd say, over two years, and I only got my hands on it last year. And everybody went crazy for this. They all wanted to use it and talk about it, and I totally agree, it is a stunningly amazing palette if you're into matte. It's an entire matte palette. It's kind of rare these days to get an entire matte palette. Usually there is some shimmer thrown in here and there. This palette is great if you are just into your plain matte shades, and obviously I used it to create this eye today. And for this eye, I used the Makeup Revolution. The shadows in this are super creamy. They're quite buttery. They're easy to blend. You can see them there. These are not the most overly, overly amazing shadows like that I've ever, ever used. Like they're not the best shadows in the entire world by any means, but they are pretty good. This palette is expensive and until recently you could not get it in Ireland for love no money. You had to use shipping services and the like to get this to Ireland but now I see that Cap on D is on Debenhams which is great. But if you're more on a budget I have an alternative for you. This is the Makeup Revolution palette. It is so like dead on. As I use both of these palettes on my eyeballs today and I've used this one twice already I just wanted to say that some of the shadows in this are a little bit more pigmented and blendable than it that's then the shadows in the Cap on D palette. Why I'm like totally stumbling on my words. This brown shade I used all over my lid today on this eye and I was very, very, very disappointed with the pigmentation. It was quite poor in fact. That the brown shade from this palette just here was much more pigmented, easier to blend. But I did find that this red toned brown was much easier to use. So it's kind of hit and miss with this palette. If you are not crazy, crazy mad into matte palettes and you don't want to spend like 45 euro on something like this and you just want a couple of the shades, like maybe you're interested in that ready brown tone. I absolutely love that. Maybe you're interested in a black or like a taupe or you just want to add some of these kind of colors to your collection for transition shades or just more matte shades to your collection then I highly recommend this palette. There's not a huge difference between this and the Cap on D and I'm going to do the tutorial on my eye and afterwards I will do the swatches of both palettes side by side. I just don't really see a huge difference with it. I think Makeup Revolution is one of the best brands that have been around for a long time because normally when I find dupes, there's something slightly off with them and they don't actually look the same once you put them onto the skin. Whereas with this versus the Cap on D, they're almost identical, like to a T identical. If you're more interested in something that is more higher end, better quality palette, kind of something that looks a little bit more luxe in your collection, then I would go with the Cat Von D one. But if you're just interested in the shades and you just don't want to spend as much as the Cat Von D, then go with the Makeup Revolution one. I think the Makeup Revolution one is about seven or eight euro don't hold me to that, I'm not sure, but I will put the prices in the description bar below. So that is kind of my two cents on those two palettes. I will do, like I said, the tutorial next and swatch them side by side so you can see what they look like. The other thing I do want to say about the Makeup Revolution is sometimes it kind of kicks up a little bit of fallout, like it kind of, there's an awful lot of shadow kind of kicking up when you do put your brush into it, but it doesn't fall down the face, if that makes any sense. Other than that brown shade, I found that was the only one that was kind of difficult enough to work with that one there. With regards to Cap Von D, you don't get too much kick up with the shadows, but they are a little bit more powdery, as we'll say something like the Too Faced ones will say, for instance. Like they want them really, really creamy and blendable, but sometimes they get a little bit, not chalky, chalky is not the word, but they just get a little bit more powdery than 
normal shadows would if that makes any sense because they're trying to be more buttery and creamy I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say with regards to that so guys if you want to see these two shadows two shadows two palettes on my eyes then stay tuned for the full tutorial the eyelashes that I'm wearing today are the rebel una izzy's and I'm wearing I think it's the lip land I think this is the amorizi one and it is the color Montenegro so if you want to see how to achieve this eyeball look then let's get into the tutorial of it and I will do the swatches after okay guys so I'm going to prime both of my eyelids with paint early paint pot from Mac applied some tape to my eyes this is just sellotape a lot of people often ask what do I use in my eyes it's completely optional I always just use it as a guide okay I'm going to take the shade and light palette on this eye and I'm just taking an F 64 brush from Sigma and I'm just gonna go in with this shade here and just apply that all over the lid just to set the base now I'm taking the Makeup Revolution palette and I'm gonna go into that same shade where it's on the same end and I'm taking the same brush no point in switching up the brush we're only setting the base so I'm not gonna worry too much about that this shade is so creamy as well on the lid from the Kat Von D palette, I'm gonna take this peachy shade here and I'm just gonna take that on a Morphe brush. I will list all the brushes I use down below. I'm just gonna apply this straight into the crease and blend it out. This is gonna be the transition. So we're gonna kind of apply a light kind of wash of this color into the crease. This shade and light palette just blends out like a dream. I don't know why I don't use this enough. I'm just gonna keep blending this shade into the crease until I've built up enough color that I'm kind of happy with. On a similar brush, I'm gonna take this shade here from the Makeup Revolution palette and I am just going to place that into the crease on this side. I'm honestly noticing absolutely no difference between these two shadows, they're like the same color. They blend out the same. The only thing I did notice is that the Cap on D does kick up a little bit, so you are getting a little bit of powder kind of on the palette. I don't know if you can see that when you apply your brush in, but like that's not really gonna bother me too much. There's nothing falling down my face, which is my main concern. I'm taking a little more of a detail brush, and I'm gonna go in with this warm brown shade here, and I'm just going to place that a little bit lower in the crease than that transition shade. and take the brush that I first used to apply the transition shade and just blend that all out just to avoid any harsh lines. Again, with a similar brush, I'm gonna take this shade here from the Makeup Revolution one and I'm going to apply that into my crease also in the same positioning. super pigmented I literally tapped the tiniest amount onto my brush and it's just applied so much product like even more so than this eye I'm just gonna blend that all out as well from the cap on D I'm gonna take this really dark brown and I'm going to apply that all over my lid I'm kind of scared for this I haven't done a really dark smoky eye in a long time so I hope this works out color is crazy pigmented again and just blend out any harsh lines okay and then with the makeup revolution one I'm just going to take that brown which is quite similar and I'm going to pack that onto my eyelid Okay, this eyeshadow is very poor pigmentation if you compare it to the one in the Cap On D palette. I'm having to swirl my brush big time into that powder just to try and get it to pick up for me. It's a lot poorer, I will say, which is strange because some of the shadows seem to be more pigmented than the Cap On D and then some like this one are not great with pigmentation. That's the best I'm gonna get it, so I'm just gonna blend out any harsh lines. That color is a bit choppy as well, like it wasn't as seamless as the rest of the shadows. I don't know if it's because of it's a darker shadow or 
I don't know. And it's also kicking up an awful lot of fallout as well. Okay, now from the Kat Von D palette, I'm gonna take this shade here, um, which is like a creamy kind of white shade. I'm just gonna place that right underneath the brow bone. And right into the inner tear duct. Just to brighten it all up. With a similar brush, I'm gonna take this shade here. You can see how much kick up happened there from that shadow. And just placing that underneath the brow bone. This is very pigmented. Happy enough with that one. Okay, for underneath the lashes, I'm going to go in with this shade first. And I'm just taking that in a little Morphe M506 brush. I'm just going to run that underneath my lower lash line. Then on the same brush, I'm gonna take that more ready toned brown and I'm just going to kind of brush that over. I just want to deepen it up. And then gonna take that big Morphe brush and just blend it all out. Now on the other side, I'm gonna take this shade and this shade and I'm taking them on a little Morphe M507 brush. I'm just gonna mix those shades together because ultimately what I did with the other eye. And then again, blend them out. So that is the eyes basically done. I'm gonna swatch these palettes in their little quads. On the right is gonna be Makeup Revolution, on the left is gonna be Kat Von D, except for the first swatch, which I messed up, and it's the other way around. Okay guys, thank you for being so wonderful and staying tuned until this part of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys have picked this up or if you own this, which one do you prefer? To me being completely honest and no shade <laughs> to Kat Von D, but I actually kind of prefer the Makeup Revolution one. The only thing I don't like about the Makeup Revolution one is that brown I used on my lid. If I can open this, my good lord, it's so difficult. This brown shade is just not what I wanted it to be. There's just too much work involved in it. But the rest of the shadows, they're pretty decent. And for the price, I would definitely pick this up. And that's not me being, oh, it's really affordable. But I actually think it's like the shadows are relatively good. Okay, guys, that rounds it all up. Thank you so much for watching. In my opinion, I think those palettes are definite dupes for one another. And I love finding affordable dupes. I mean, who doesn't? So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Mwah! Bye!